All right, what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and welcome back to another episode of exploring this new map in Mud Runner. Now, this is well, basically, it's weird because we're starting off with a jeep on its roof, and we still have plenty of the map left to explore. So, what I think I'm going to do is grab the Raptor. If it let me switch, I was like, uh. But yeah, we're gonna grab the Raptor and head for the nearest watch point, and then, which will probably be hmm, that one. Which means we're gonna have to go. There we go. We're gonna have to go like mildly backwards. Like, not necessarily backwards over the entire course, but backwards for a good bit of it. Oh, no, you're kidding. I was gonna say, like, it will, it'll work if I, it'll work if I bump into it. We'll go over these obstacles real quick. I mean, and once we get through, see, I'm really hoping that we find another, like, secret cool area that we haven't, like, you know, that, that, that we have no idea it's even there. Because if we do, oh, that's like right in front of us. Well, not necessarily right in front of us, but as long as we go, really? As long as we go straight, we should have it. Oh, this thing doesn't have any repair upgrades. Damn. All right, where are we looking? Where are we looking? Obviously, oh, left. I was like, obviously nowhere around this area. <laughs> oh, there it is. Come on, ease it up through, the, there we go. Well, that's just wilderness. That's literally just wilderness. Um, we're going to have to keep going because that is not going to work. I mean, not, not necessarily that it's not going to work, but that's not what I was wanting to find. I was wanting to find like something that was actually like usable. God, this thing is getting beat up. When I say usable, I mean, like, usable off-road area, not necessarily... I mean, you can off-road in this, but I mean, like, something that's different. Something that's got, like, some, you know, engagement to it, besides, like, just wilderness. Alright, where's my next... There it is! Gonna go just a little bit off the trail. Yes, alright, I'm almost facing it. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it! Hopefully this reveals something other than more wilderness. Nope, more wilderness on that one. I'm thinking, honestly, that that's probably the only, like, off-road park area on the map. Um, but again, we have more to explore, so there could be, there could be something else. I think, like, I, I've learned that with these maps, you can't just go, oh, that looks like it's probably going to be, you know, the end of it and stop exploring because, you know, the second you decide that, you're like, you don't know. You know what I mean? Like, you don't know if there's another area to unlock. And a lot of the time, there is another area to unlock. And it's kind of, uh, it's kind of one of those things where you'll be, you'll be, like, disappointed with yourself if you don't go and explore it. Let's see. So there's, like, three watch points, like, back to back to back to back. And an unlockable garage. So let's see. Whoa! Ooh! Okay, see, now I'm glad I came out here. Because that's like... That garage, That that's like completely custom. I mean, it's like... I wouldn't really call it a beach house. But I guess I would. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I suppose I would call it a beach house. But like, it's technically... Because really, it is a house on the beach? I mean, it's a beach garage. Got a lighthouse out here that you can actually drive out to, which is where one of those watch points is, which is really cool. Really, really cool. And... Boom. So that's pretty cool. That's, I mean, okay, I, I, I'll i give him props. That's pretty creative. So we got one more right up the beach. And I'm curious because if the map is to be believed, 
then that next watch point is literally out in the, like, open water. So there's got to be something else out there to drive on. There's got to be. I'm going to ease it down through the water. I was just ease it through nice and slow. Oh, it's just sitting right there. Never mind. Yeah, it's just sitting right there on the side of the beach. So we're pretty much good on that one. The next two, I bet you the next two are just sitting either on the beach or right along the edge of the beach. We definitely brought the right trek, though. Let's go! I mean, it's got all the suspension travel it needs. And I still need to install that updated Spin Tires Plus. I know I do, um, because we're still getting suspension damage. But it's one of those things where it's like... It's weird, because like you install Spin Tires Plus... Or, or Mud Runner Mod, sorry. Mud Runner Mod, you install it like once, and then you're like, oh. Oh, what? The beach stops. I thought the... Hmm... I thought the beach would keep going. That's weird. Like, I genuinely thought the beach would keep going, but... I guess I was mistaken on that one, because it's like... It's like, oh, okay. Just run over here and grab this watch point, and then we'll head off to grab the other one. And, okay, so that has pretty much revealed that whole section of the map. And we have, what, two... Three more. We have three more, which... Honestly, that's more than I thought we would have left. I mean, like, I thought that... Mm, I don't know why, but let's recall... Oh, crap, I just realized... This thing just lost all of its repair add-ons since we recalled it. Damn! I was like, yeah, let's recall the Chevy. It's got all that repair stuff. And then it was like, oh. I can't believe I did that. That's That was dumb. Like, I can't believe I, I forgot that that was a thing. Trying to get back to an actual trail, because that's like... I want to use a trail to get back down to the next objective. Or, well, objective watch point, really. But we're treating watch points as objectives right now, so, I mean, I guess we can... I guess you can use either one! Uh oh is that a house? Oh, no, that's the fuel station. Okay. So, we're going to go left here. I've never been down this way. I've never been down into this section of the map, so it could be weird, it could be, like, sketchy, or it could be, like, completely tame and, and like, no, no problem whatsoever. Which, honestly, judging by the rest of this map, it'll probably be kind of tame. <laughs> the only part on this map that wasn't tame was the off-road park. This thing's already freaking damaged. I need to install that Mudrunner mod really, really, really bad. But this thing also gets damaged a lot easier than that Raptor does. I mean, a lot easier. It's bad. Like, a pebble would damage this truck. Oh, there it is. See, and that's not hard. So there's one. And then we've got those two more. Now, the next one looks like it's literally in the... Yeah, it's going to be out in the river in the mud, which... That, uh oh, god, that rack is really glitchy. But it'll be out in the river in the mud, which this truck, sh oh my god, which this truck should have no problem with. Um, I think this truck is probably the best one for anything that has to do with mud that we have on the map right now. I mean, I haven't tested out all the others in the mud, but I've tested a couple, and this one definitely does a good job of keeping its speed up and keeping its traction in the mud. So this will probably be what I end up sticking with. As far as, like, anything mud-related goes, but we seem to be coming up on the river now. Or the river bed, really. Oh, God, do not flip over. And we have another truck in case we need it. I just don't want this thing to get in the red and then lose power. That's, like, I hate it when that happens, dude. Like, that is just, it's so annoying when that happens to your truck. There we go. Oh, crap. Well, we got one more. Oh my god, it's all the way up on the top of like a hill or a mountain or something. And we're about to do it with our hurt truck. Don't flip over, don't flip over, don't flip over. Ah, no! We're good. Oh my god, we're good. I mean... Oh, I see the hill over there. Oh. 
Oh, we're gonna do this. We are so gonna do this, and we're gonna do it with a hurt truck. Easy. Easy. Oh my god! Okay, uh, let's... Ooh, I'd... Considering the damage level of this truck, we're using the bridge. We are using the bridge! Like, the custom stuff on this map is super cool, but, like, I just wish there was more of it. Because there's, there's really not that much of it when, like, when it comes down to it. There's not that much of it at all. God, I wish there was more of those custom objects and stuff. Oh my god, you ready to climb a hill, people? Climb a hill with a hurt truck? Ooh. There it goes. This came out of nowhere. This is one hell of a hill climb. Like, this is some steep stuff. This is ridiculous. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this one bit. I expected actually nothing like this, to be honest. I was like, uh, that's completely and utterly different than what I expected it to be. And boom, there's the watch point. So we've got like some houses and stuff up here and then you get like a cool view, I think. Let me see how the view is. That's too foggy to even get a view. So never mind on the whole view thing. But that, I believe... God, look at this barn. It's so cool. I love the objects on this map. Like, they've been so well made. I love them. I just love the way they look. But yeah, so that is a full exploration of 4x4 trails. That's, that's not bad, actually. I kind of... I like this map a lot. I just wish there was more stuff, like, within the map. Like... This area is cool, and this area is cool, and this area is cool, and the re and the, the river is freaking awesome. But the rest of the map feels sort of, like, sort of bland. But, without any further ado, I mean, like, I, I can't, I can't, I can't deny that it's a really good map. I just think that the fact that there's a lot of bland area in between everything keeps it from being a great map. So, hope you all enjoyed this little, uh, this little series, and I will see you all in the next one. Don't forget to click that like button, subscribe for more if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all later.